Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'd just like to go over setting up your Mass Effect 2 with EMB and SuiteFX. Now I will leave a link under the video here if you'd like to download and add these files to your game. Now you can get the files here at Nexus Mods or at ModDB. With ModDB, you just want to click the Download Now. With the Nexus Mods, you want to go to Files and do a manual download for the first one, EMB with Sweet Effects for Mass Effect 2 here. Now, once you've downloaded that file, you just want to open it and you can minimize your browser. Next, you want to open your game folder. Now, depending on whether you have Steam or Origin, I'll show you each method here. With Steam, you can go to your Steam library and just select the game that you want to open and you want to right click on it, select properties, go to local files and click that browse local files button. Now mine is grayed out because I don't actually have the Steam version installed but I'll show you here with one of the games that I have installed. So you would select the game, right click, select properties, local files and browse local files and that will open up the game folder for you. Now you can also do it through this PC. Just go to C drive, program files, steam, steam apps, common, and you'll find your game folders listed there. And you would just open up the Mass Effect 2 folder here. Now I have the origin version in order to open the game folder there. Just go to this PC, C drive, program files, and origin games. And in the origin games folder, you'll find your game folders listed here. And you just want to open that Mass Effect 2. And then you actually want to go to the binaries folder. Now, once you have the Mass Effect 2 folder open and you're at the binaries folder, just take the contents of the download here, drag and drop those into the game folder. Close the download. Leave the game folder open for a moment while you do your first test run of the game to make sure everything's working correctly. If everything's working correctly, you should see the EMB running in the upper left at game start. And you should find using the pause break will enable and disable the effects. If everything is working correctly, when you exit the game, just close the game folder and you're fine. Now, if you do have an issue with the game starting, where it crashes on start or it just won't start at all, then when you exit the game, go back to the open folder here. And what you want to do is go to the Alt D3D9 folder here. Now, there are four D3D9 DLLs each one being slightly different depending on what your video card is. So in some cases you may have to alter that for your video card in order to get it to work. And the way that you would do that is just start at the Black Mesa here and just copy that D3D9 DLL, go back to the binaries folder and just paste it over top of the existing one there. Leave the game folder open again, start your game, and make sure that the problem has been corrected. If you still have issues, then just go back and go to the next one and do the same process, testing out all four. And like I said, normally one of those four will work for your video card, depending on which video card you use. Now, if you start the game and it starts normally, but the graphics and the saturation are almost black, really dark looking, then that's actually 
the SMAA line in your suite effects. And what you want to do at that point is just exit the game, go into the binaries folder here, and open up that suite effects folder. Go to the presets and the Mass Effect 2 settings text here. And you just want to open that up, and under the choose effects, the first line define use SMAA, change that to zero, save and close the file, and start the game again. Make sure that the coloration and everything looks proper, and then it should be fine. Once again, when you leave the game, just close the game folder. Now the Mass Effect 2 settings text is the Suite Effects settings file. So if you want to make changes to the Suite Effects, you want to make it through this file here and not through the Suite Effects settings text here in the binaries folder. Now if you decide that you want to actually put a different preset file in, then when you put the preset file in, rename this to something like Mass Effect 2 settings old and rename the new settings file to match the name here. Either that, or if you want to leave it with a different name, then just go back to the binaries and the Suite Effects preset text here and put the new setting text name in here for your new settings file. And that will just refer it over to the new file if you don't want to just rename it to this name here. Now as far as the E and B, if you have any say lag issues or FPS issues, then what you'll also want to do is go back to the binaries folder here, open up that E and B series I and I. Now under the third grouping here, it's called global, and the third line down and allow anti-alias, you want to set that to zero and then close and save the file. And that will normally correct any lag or FPS issues that you may run into. Otherwise, you can normally just close the folder here and run the game. But I, I just thought I'd go over those extra changes and such in case you want to make any alterations or you have to do any troubleshooting there. Now, if there are any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.